In my today's video, which is part of the series how to install SAP HANA and get it running on OpenSUSE Linux, I would like to show you how to install SAP HANA DB on OpenSUSE Linux OS. We will see how to, and I will show you how you can download the SAP HANA Express Edition from the SAP website and how to install it. In addition, I will also show you how to optimize it and how to access it via the web. In the former video, I showed you already how to install OpenSUSE Leap 50.5 server on a virtual environment. I use Hetzner Cloud for it and on uh, this Hetzner server, I run the Xen server which is then here in virtual instance. I showed you how to install OpenSUSE Linux. I showed you also how to set the uh, network up and also how to rename the system as we need it. That means the house host name for us is HANA and this can be used now within the installation. This is a pre-work which needs to be done to get the installation successfully done. Okay, let's start. To download the SAP Tri uh, HANA Database Express Edition, you can directly search uh, within Google SAP HANA Express Edition, which is for free. Now, the first entry you will get is the SAP HANA Express Edition trial, which we can use directly. That means we will end up here in an environment of SAP where we can log in directly. Then you can start your trial download directly, or what you can do is you can click here, start your free trial. Then you need to enter your, your business email address. Let's use uh, one which is not available, Next, uh, test at test.com, only to show you uh, what the procedure is afterwards. And then you need to provide here all your information. That means your last name, company, department, and all those things. Please have in mind and please be aware that this is needed, but you will never be contacted by SAP that, um, um, that you need to purchase, need to purchase say something. This is only an information for SAP who downloads the SAP trial version and use SAP HANA Express Edition um, that they have an overview for that. After you, uh, you insert all the information, then your uh, email address needs to be verified. You need to accept the terms and conditions, and then you can access all the resources. This is what I did already, and this will look like the following screen. I logged in now here with my account, and the page looked like the same, but by clicking start your free trial, you will get a pop-up. Thank you for your interest. And then you need to mark this uh, that you are uh, confirming. And after submitting, you will get this screen yeah, where you can download it directly. Or what we will do, yeah, we uh, will uh, copy th this link then in our, um, in our com um, SSH cons console to get the get the the um, the file directly there. To do this, we jump to our SSH console and uh, within our root directory, let's go to home to my user and within this we find we'll find the downloads ordner. We jump to it. Downloads, nothing is here at the moment, only uh, I already downloaded Cloudflare, but this is not uh, the part of the video here. And um, 
here, we can use the, the platform independent one. We can do a right mouse click on it, copy the link, go back to the SSH console, and now we use the command w get. And here we can download our the download manager for HANA, which, which will give us the latest download manager for this. OK, now we have it available here. Now we are ready to use this download manager. And within the documentation, I will provide this information uh, under the video. You can click directly on it. There is a documentation how to use the download manager. Yeah, uh, the, the usage is uh, simply easy. With a Java jar, you can execute it and then you can give the information to the uh, to the uh, download manager which should what should be downloaded. Yeah, and I include here everything which is available to download it to this um, to this um, machine here yeah? by clicking enter. Now the download manager connects to the SAP server and will download all the relevant information. But we see here that the that this file is not available. I think then this is renamed. And we do, do not need it. This is only a uh, PDF file. Um, let's use this one. Okay, I do not want to. Let's check if we have this available. Okay, the, the the server tries to do, tries to save the download within this directory here. I oh, know I, I see the error of uh, failure from my side. He, oh, I forgot to specify where the files should be downloaded in which directory. This can be specified by using minus D for directory. And then you need to put in the directory where the files should be placed, like this. Ah, we would like to place it here. This can be found also within the documentation. Ah, you see, everything is working now. You see the percentage. Um, how much percentage are already downloaded. I will pause the video until this is finished. OK, now we see here that the downloads are finished. At first, the main one, then the applications part, which is um, the XSA, the additional languages, the EML file, the APL file, SDI, the clients, and also the DP agent. OK, what we need to do now is, yeah, you see that the all files have the end, uh, the file end TGZ. This needs to be extracted. And therefore, I cre will create now an, an automatic script that we do not need to do it every, uh, every by hand. Now let's use it uh, extraction dot. Um, well, we can use the batch file for that. Uh, let's name it extraction.sh. Oh. It's a batch file, and now I need to copy in all the files we would like to extract. I will copy it out from my note. Pad. Here we see. Now, at first, we would like to extract this file. The 
those files needs to be extracted. Uh, that that we can also have this then available. Now we need to use here our. Uh, I see one once. One need to delete this one. This is the, the wrong directory. This is where we place the files. Okay. Let's save it and let's execute it. Extraction dot sh. Extraction dot sh. Okay, let me need to do it, do it with this one. Oh, yeah, we need to make it executable. Extraction h. Let's try again. Now all the files will be extracted into a specific folder, which is here we see it HANA, HANA Express, HANA N20. And this should be finished soon. I will pause the video until this is finished. Okay, now we see everything is finished and let's check our directory. And yes, of course, here we see our, our files which we downloaded from SAP. Also the SDI, the, lang the languages, and here we have the main, main repository where all the files are placed. And we have our set up an HXE file, yeah, which is the main installation file we need to execute. That means we can do it in that way. Set up an SH. And now we need to specify what is our installation root directory, which is this one. Yeah, under downloads, we can leave it as it is because in brackets, this will be then the default if we do not enter something here. Then let's create, let's use or let's check what system ID we would like to have. It needs to be three characters long. X, uh, HXE is the default one. We leave it as it is. The instance number here, we have a, a pre configuration of 90. Let's use 01. This will be also part of the ports afterwards, yeah, with which we can access the SAP uh, HANA database afterwards. Here we see, we get a prompt, what is part of the installation? Oh, we, will, uh, we can enter server, then only the server will be installed or all, which installs then all the other applications as well. Let's use all. And of course, here we can uh, enter the host name. Or we need to enter the host name here. OK, we can leave it as it is. Now we need to enter a password. And again, we need to confirm the password. We need to specify if we need to have a proxy server installed or if you have a proxy server to access the internet. In my case, not. And now we get some prompts for the applications. I would like to install the smart data integration as well. Yes, XHXE, this is my tenant database. I would like to also install the DP agent. Let's use this part here as default. This can be ignored here. And the agent listening listener port 
can leave it as it is, the same here. And now we get an overview about all parameters we set. And with entering Y, the installation starts. Here we see the, the version we will install. And now the installation runs. I will pause the video until we are finished. And here we see now that the HANA database is already installed on the system and the log file is written into that folder here. And after that, the system will start now to install all the uh, relevant applications in addition, which we already um, in, which we already set in our parameters during our first uh, setup. Now you see that the Express Edition is installed successfully on the system, and now you can test it via entering the host name within the browser on a local machine, or you, if you have a uh, URL or a uh, specific subdomain with the domain available, which re redirects to that specific IP address of the server. You can test it also out um, outside of the server by using the subdomain and domain name, by followed by 8.0 for the HTTP port, followed by the instance ID. Now we used, as we remember, 01 within the, uh, within the installation. That's the reason why we can access it via this port. If you use another port during the installation, you need to fill in the right ports here afterwards. Okay, thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Bye.